What's up Baller Nation? Augie Johnson here and today is a vlog day. I'm gonna take you with me. Today I got a pretty full day. I'm gonna go play in some open gym right now. We'll get some pretty good competition. Some ex-overseas guys, some guys that played in college, some older guys that just know how to play. And uh, that's gonna be in San Louis, about 30 minute drive. And then tonight I'm going to a, a college basketball game. Cal Poly, San Luis Obispo is the name of the school. It's a small D1. And I'm gonna check that game out and take some uh, younger boys that I trained to the game. I'm um, giving a little pre-game speech actually in the locker room uh, before the game for the visiting team, Cal State Dominguez Hills. Uh, one of my good friends, he is the coach of that team, so I'm gonna be going in there, give a little, little pump up speech to those guys, just say hi. And that's about it for the day, so I'm gonna take you guys along with me, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. Oh, real quick, I wanna show you guys uh, what I just got, this ball right here. It's called Dribble Up. It's a smart basketball. Okay, as you can see, it's a smart basketball that comes with an app. It tracks your dribbles and there's all kinds of different workouts it comes with and stuff like that. I'm gonna do a full review on it, so be on the lookout for that um, so you guys can see just you know how it works and all that kind of stuff. Also, today I'm gonna be hooping in these Dame Lillards. Okay, I've had these for a little bit. I broke them in pretty good. It's time to get a, a full hoop session in with them. And so far I like them, they're pretty comfy. Um, I think Adidas runs like a half a size too big, so I just need to remember that the next time I get some kicks from them. But other than that, yeah, let's go ahead and get into the video. Jesus, it's bright out here. It's like November 15th or something, and it's super warm today. It's like gonna be 80 degrees. That's that Cali weather. And check out this. No, that's not my car. Okay, so I got a few minutes to drive to this open gym and I thought I would just try to drop a little bit of knowledge for you guys, give you guys a little bit of what's been on my mind. So like I said tonight, I'm giving a little pregame speech to this team and there's three things I'm gonna talk about. First one I'm gonna talk about is not taking anything for granted. I'm gonna go into my speech and talk about, and this is something you guys need to apply to yourselves as well. So I'm gonna talk about how these are basically the best years of your life. You're never gonna get these years back to these college kids because that's true. The, your, college, your college career, if you, get, if you guys are lucky enough to go and play in college, those are going to be the best years of your life. Or maybe if you're in high school right now on the high school team, those are gonna be probably the best years of your life because you're involving your passion and you're involving your, your friends and all that kind of stuff. So don't take anything for granted. For these guys, they're a D2, playing against a D1. That's an awesome opportunity that they should not take for granted. They should try to seize that moment. The second thing I'm gonna talk about is brotherhood. Okay, so just going all along with the theme that these are the best years of your life. One of the main reasons is, I say that friendship, brotherhood, that they're never gonna have another kind of brotherhood like this again. Um, playing college basketball is something super special. You're living with your teammates, you're practicing every day with your teammates, you're fighting with your teammates, and basically your teammates are your family. You're, you're away from home normally, you know, in college. So brotherhood, I expect these guys to, to look out for each other and on the court and off the court as well. The third and final thing I'm gonna preach to these guys and what I'm preaching to you guys right now is be an underdog. No matter what the situation is, you have to look at yourself as an underdog, okay? You have to play with a chip on your shoulder. You have to enter each workout with the mindset that you need to get better because you're not good enough. A lot of times when I train little small groups of players and stuff at the end, we come together, you know, and we say, put our, put our hands in the circle and we're gonna, what do we gotta say? You know, we're gonna say, you know, hard work, are we gonna say whatever to end the workout? What I normally do is I say, when I say gotta get, you say better. Gotta get better. Because I wanna ingrain that underdog mentality into all my players to where you're never good enough. You're never gonna be good enough. Even Kobe Bryant, at the peak of his career was waking up at 4 a.m., going to the gym, trying to get better. So I think just having that underdog mentality and always feeling like you are the underdog is just a great way to approach each and every day. You can never be satisfied. And it's a good fitting for tonight because like I said, they're a D2 playing against a D1. So hopefully that'll help inspire a few of them to dive for that loose ball or whatever the case might be. So I hope you guys like that. And all right, I'm on my way, almost there to the gym. All right, just finished hooping. Just played four on four, half court. Didn't have enough for fives, but good competition, so it was worth it. Got a little sweat in, got my stretch in for my legs. They're pretty sore, lower back is a little sore, but doing okay. 
And uh, yeah, now I'm about to head back. Told y'all, mid-November, 70 degrees. Okay, so I just got home, time to eat lunch. I'm gonna have meatballs, pasta, basically leftovers, and uh, let's take a look. Bon appetit, man. Let me see what this tastes like. Hot, hot, hot. I have a cool little thing we're going to. Me and the wifey hitting up this little taco stand, taco night, taco day. I don't know exactly what it is, but it's kind of something she planned out. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so we finally found a place to grab some tacos. And I guess it's a super long line. I think they have some, some unique kind of tacos here, like uh, I saw a jerk chicken taco. So uh, go ahead and check out this massive line. Yeah, I don't know if we're gonna get very many tacos, if this is gonna be worth it, but we'll just see. All right, it's game time now. We're heading off to the game. Uh, we're gonna go watch Cal Poly San Luis Obispo versus Cal State Dominguez Hills. You guys are probably freaking out right now because it's the first time you haven't seen me in basketball shorts. Meeting up with the young boys that I train. Get to see my one of my college roommates actually, who's the coach of Dominguez Hills. So it should be a good time. All right. So what's really cool about these games is that. It's a D2 versus a D1. So if you don't know anything about college basketball, it's different divisions and you don't compete against each other normally. But this is an exhibition game, it's preseason, and it's the first game of the season. So it's an awesome opportunity coming from someone that played D2 um, to play against a D1 and to kind of show what you got. In college, I was lucky enough to have like one of my best games against a D1 where I scored 31 points against Fresno State and it was just like one of the best experiences that I ever had. So let's see if a D2 can beat a D1 tonight. it's a good time to end the vlog. It's like 10 o'clock at night. My buddy's team, they lost to the D1, but they were up at halftime. They played them real tough, real close. We really had good ball movement and stuff the first half. We're sharing the ball. The, the other team played zone the whole game, which is just kind of lame. But anyways, but second half, they were just kind of settling for threes. They weren't getting in the paint. And when they were getting in the paint, they were trying to share the ball a little bit, but we're throwing turnovers and uh, they ended up losing by like 10 points but it was a good game and uh, had a lot of fun so all right guys i hope you guys like this vlog if you like the vlogs let me know in the comments also click that like button subscribe if you're new and go ahead and check out another one of my videos i have over 200 basketball tutorials on my channel so some links on the screen right now you can click to subscribe watch another video and i'll see you guys in another video